Before the Greeks looked to the stars, before Stonehenge rose from the earth, Africa was already counting, charting, calculating. This is the untold story of ancient African mathematics and astronomy, a story written in bone, stars, and stone. In a cave near the Nile, archaeologists uncovered a slender bone, not just any bone, the Ashango bone, over 22,000 years old. Carved with groups of notches, it's believed to be the world's oldest math tool. It contains a base 10 system and even prime numbers. Long before calculators, Africa was already doing algebra. High in the cliffs of Mali lived the Dogon people, ancient sky watchers. For centuries, they described the Sirius star system, including a tiny star they called Po Tolo, a star invisible to the naked eye, unknown to modern astronomers until the 20th century. How did the Dogon know of Sirius B, a star so dense it defies logic? Was it oral science or something more? In ancient Nubia, Long before modern Egypt, Africans built pyramids aligned with celestial bodies. They tracked the solstices, built temples facing Orion's belt, and used geometry to align sacred sites with mathematical precision. These weren't primitive tribes. They were architects of the cosmos. In Ethiopia, a solar lunar calendar still beats to the rhythm of ancient math. In Great Zimbabwe, massive stone towers were used to track celestial cycles, like Africa's own Stonehenge. Time, direction, seasons, all calculated through centuries of observation. These weren't accidents. They were sciences lost to time or buried by history. Mathematics, astronomy, precision. Not imported to Africa, but born there. It's time we give credit to the ancient African minds who first counted the stars. If this amazed you, hit like, subscribe, and share this truth. Africa's brilliance deserves the world's spotlight. The past isn't lost. It's just waiting to be rediscovered.